And this is one of the reasons why the Jews were cast as the enemies of Jesus. For it simply personifies the battle that is raging right now within each and every human being. Hello and welcome back to Jesus is Soul. My name is Shimon Klinger. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification button. This channel is dedicated to uncovering the hidden secrets in the Gospel of John. This video is the second video in a two-part series that decodes the different players that are in the Gospel of John. There are seven main groups in the Gospel of John. They include Jesus, the Twelve, the students of Jesus, and the crowd. Now, if you missed it, we discussed in depth these four groups in the last video. You can find an, a link to that right here. In this particular video, we are going to be decoding the last three categories. These last three categories include the Jews, the Pharisees, and the high priest. These three groups of people actively seek out to destroy and ultimately kill Jesus. The Jews, the Pharisees, and the high priests represent parts of ourselves and sometimes people, but mostly parts of ourselves that rebel against the desires of our soul and prevent us from being our true divine nature. The text should lead us to ask a question, which is simply, why did the author write in the antagonists as being Jewish when Jesus himself was Jewish? Isn't this a strange phenomenon? The fact that Jesus was a Jew and that the Jews simultaneously were seeking to kill Jesus mirrors the battle that is constantly raging between our soul and the negative forces within us. The battle between the light aspect of ourselves and the dark aspect of ourselves. So often we are confused as to what the right action is. And the reason is simply because the forces of good and evil within us are oftentimes so entangled. And this is one of the reasons why the Jews were cast as the enemies of Jesus. For it simply personifies the battle that is raging right now within each and every human being. The second reason why the Jews are cast as the villains of the story is because the gospel itself makes a fine and subtle distinction between those people who are Jews and those people who are Israelites. And this has far-reaching implications within Kabbalah. In John 1:47, Jesus first encounters Nathanael. And upon meeting Nathanael, Jesus makes a curious statement. Jesus says, and I quote, Here is a true Israelite in whom there is no deceit. In this verse, Jesus deems Nathanael as an Israelite, not as a Jew. Kabbalah takes a slightly different perspective as to what makes someone a child of Israel or an Israelite. According to Kabbalah, it is consciousness that makes someone an Israelite. So in order to understand what the consciousness of an Israelite is, according to Kabbalah, we have to look at why Jacob was renamed Israel. This occurs in chapter 32 of Genesis. And in that story, Jacob is preparing to meet his brother Esau. Esau is set on killing Jacob. The night before this occurs, we are told that Jacob crossed over a particular river and was left alone. And there we are told that he wrestled a man all night. Jacob was able to overcome this man. And at the end of the night, this man blessed Jacob with a new name, the name of Israel. Only after Jacob fought with his dark side all night and did not allow his dark side to overcome him, was he given the name Israel. And every moment, we as human beings can also take up that fight. According to Kabbalah and the sages, this is what makes up an Israelite. And it is those people who are actively fighting their dark side. And so you see, when Jesus describes Nathanael as being a true Israelite, that Jesus was able to see that Nathanael was actively battling his negative side, the deceitful nature that existed within him. This is the whole purpose of Kabbalah, for Kabbalah 
When we translate it, it means to receive. When we are able to overcome our dark side, we then receive the blessings that are due to us. But if we are overcome by our dark nature, we effectively abandon the blessings that the light has for us. And ultimately, according to the Zohar, when there is a tipping point of people who are actively fighting their Satan, death, suffering, and pain will all be removed. And this is why Kabbalah has been given to all of us, because Kabbalah provides spiritual tools that makes this battle easier. If you would like to begin to learn techniques and tools that help make this battle a little bit easier, there are links in the description box to Kabbalah classes where you can begin to learn how to fight and overcome and ultimately make your life better. This concludes this particular video. I love you all. Have a great day. Looking forward to seeing you soon.